Gaming from Lego Buff Productions here with another weekly update. And today I'm going to talk about my mock and some sorting. Now, as I move out, you can see there's a bunch of pieces um, scattered around. And what happened was when I was building my mock, I was holding this one bin that has a ton of random Technic light pieces. I kind of grouped them all under one category. And since then, I've been sorting them into smaller containers over here. You can see one right there, one right there, one right there. So I've narrowed it down to smaller categories, but I still had to sort those and I accidentally dropped it and a bunch flew out everywhere. So I have to, I was going to sort them anyway, so now they're kind of outed. It's easier to sort now. But anyway, uh, so that's the sorting portion of that. And then all I have left uh, sorting wise is, oh, here it is. This bin right here, I can open that up. It's pretty much full of Lego right there, this bin. So, uh, that's what I have to do sorting wise, and then all my pieces will be sorted. And then, oh, over there, there's some piles. And then this floor will be nice and clean. Uh, I do have another table, I might bring it up here and put it for building purposes. Uh, not sure on that yet, but I'm very likely to do that. So, let's move on to the mock. So I did make an order, it should be here on Monday or Tuesday, I was hoping it'd be here on Saturday, but unfortunately it didn't work out, which is fine. So, uh, it'll be here, uh, I'll use the pieces by next update for sure. Uh, but I did come up with a really cool design uh, to move these pieces for you so you can see it. Uh, so this is the inside of the security post, again it's going to be identical on both sides. So that side, I kind of just laid out the foundation for it. But anyway, uh, there's going to be a door right here where these pieces are. And that door is going to open up like that. And there's going to be like a little keypad or something for them to get in. And then all along this area are going to be control panels. And then we have three little areas. So actually four right here. There's going to be an area for a speeder. And it's going to be a custom built speeder. So I'm going to make a scaled down version of one of those. Just for the joints kind of to drive around in the base. If they need to go pick something out, it's going to be very small. And then over here, there's going to be a uh, closet, I guess you could say. And this is the door uh, that I've made for it. I really like that handle. It looks pretty sweet. So that kind of just looks like that and it's gonna be right here and I think it's gonna be a door that goes like this uh, it looks like it's supposed to turn like that but it's gonna be a trick door because inside here is where they're gonna store a bunch of valuables have a bunch of crates here they're gonna be full of rubies and gems like that so if anyone tries to break in they'll try to open it like that but in reality it's gonna open like that so so to work on that and then over here we have the armory Let's see if I can move this a little light so you get a better look at that. So you can see I have a bunch of guns lined up. It's very small. Originally I was planning to make it bigger, but so you can see there's a ton of guns in there. So I figured why put any more? I think that's a decent amount. And then as you can see right here, I have the walls and that'll be built up after I kind of close off this closet right here and figure out the rest of this stuff in here. And then this is the door. Obviously, that is not the final design. That would be pretty sad. But that's how it's going to open, just like that. And on the front, uh, I actually had... Let's see. Oh, here it is. I think this is the final design I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm not sure about the tile on the bottom here. But there will definitely be two pieces right here. Not sure which ones exactly. But this middle part is for sure. And then on the inside, you have this gear. It doesn't actually lock or anything. But... What it'll be like is if I set this down right here, the entrance to the armory, it's going to be something like this. And then, let's see if I can put this in here. Again, these colors are all going to be different. This is just temporary. So it's going to be something like that. And then, once they type in the right code right here, uh, the door or the mechanism will simply just turn like that and then it'll open up physically obviously again this isn't the final design but then this becomes a handle and then you can open it up so then the whole door will be able to be 
opened up. So that's what it's going to look like when I'm finished there again. Hopefully all this whole security post and most of that one will be done for next week. I just need those parts in. And then over here we have the elevator shaft. And I did order the parts for the elevator. Uh, you saw that in the last update, so it hasn't really changed at all. Uh, it's just I put a door there. So it's, this is just a regular sliding door, nothing special to it. Uh, obviously it'll be, those aren't the final colors, so it'll look a little different. But it's the same basic design. So if you want to see the elevator going up and down, you can check out last week's update on that. So I'm still deciding what I want to put on the second floor up here. Because remember, there's going to be two floors for this area, but only one because the corporates are so tall. And then that's going to flatten out and that's going to go up for the rest of the base. So over here again, we have the clone areas, the little labor camps. I do have the stairs ordered for those. So next week, there will be a lot more progress on this area. I just needed some key pieces to get going on that. And I think that pretty much does it for this update. I did make my huge, huge haul order from Lego.com. Uh, unfortunately, one of the items is sold out, so it said it will ship in 30 days. Uh, and that is the Tower of Orthanc. So, if you're wondering about that, is the Tower of Orthanc. So, I cannot wait to get that set, but again, that will be 30 days. But the first part will be coming, uh, hopefully, it's at 3 to 8 days. So, uh, this week's haul video, though, is a very special one. So, make sure to check that one out for sure. It's actually a trade with a fellow YouTuber. Uh, but, uh, one last note before I finish is... This week, there was only a haul video and then a laugh video. Unfortunately, there was no review or minifigs up close. And the reason being is some of you know I am getting a new camera. And in order to get that, it's very expensive. So we actually sold the camera I used to film uh, minifigs up close and my reviews because uh, it's a lot better quality than this one. So we sold that. And I went looking for it. I'm like, oh wait, we sold it. So I couldn't make those videos. However, there is another one. Uh, I was using the Rebel T3i, in case you're wondering. And then uh, we do have the Rebel T4i to use, so I can film those. And then we're getting the Rebel 70, or not the Rebel, or I, th I think it's just the 70D. I'm not sure if it's called the Rebel or not. But regardless, that's the situation why those videos didn't come out. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my channel for some other awesome LEGO videos, and have a great day.